If you had a room full of entrepreneurs in front of you, you know, um, what piece of advice would you give to them? Don't read every single article you get on social media. Like, <laughs> stop reading everything and trying to implement all of the things and focus on one platform. Like, just stop. Like, if you're going to read anything, yeah, just read about one platform and that's it. Just focus on one platform, the one that is going to work for you, right? <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Yes, be strategic about it. Like, be strategic about it, not just randomly pick a flat platform. Pick the one that you know for sure is going to work for you, right? Yes. Rita V helps women entrepreneurs, small businesses, and marginalized communities reach their target audience and social media goals. Through guidance and support, her clients learn how to leverage their brand story and stay on trend within their industry. Now it's time to find out more about Rita V with the host of the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy V. Terry. So what are some of the top hacks that you would like to share with um, other entrepreneurs? So top hacks I would say is uh, being a, you know, get yourself in a mentorship. If you can um, find, you know, whether it's a mentorship program or a um, sort of like a like a meetup where you are meeting up with other people with not only within your industry, but those like who are within your industry. So like website developers, graphic designers, brand people who do branding. I think it's important um, to be in a, in a collective that mm -hmm. way. I think another hack is. Definitely have your onboarding done. <laughs> yes. Um, it's extremely important to be prepared, you know, when you start bringing in those clients. And, you know, that's, that's where the meetups come into place. Because if someone is referring someone to you, you want to be able to have that process be fairly easy. You want to make it repetitive. Yeah. 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 Applicable. Yes. Yes, of course. And then, you know, I, I also am big on having contracts, you know, making sure that you have your contracts in place. I have a lot of, you know, colleagues, I call them women that I've met um, networking, who didn't have contracts and have run into starting off a job and not getting paid and, and having to go to like small claims court. So it's really, really important mm -hmm. to also work with a contract. Mm -hmm. And then, as I mentioned before, having um, social proof. Okay. So, um, lessons learned. Is there something that, um, you know, over the years, you know, of entrepreneurship that you would say, wow, I mean, this really hit me hard and, you know, I, I really learned from that one? Mm, um, I would say not being prepare for when projects end so mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur you know you you kind of work on a retainer base or you're working project base um and so not being prepared for that next project or you know putting yourself out there enough to know that your business is going to continuously run and bring in an, an income for you so i think that that's been um you know, one of the hardest lessons is mm -hmm. being able to, to have that set in place. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something that you would do differently if you could do it all over again? Of course. I would, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd have digital products out. Um, like I've begun to sooner. Yeah. Yeah. Having those, those digital products, you know, that people can just purchase directly from your website. Um, you know, as well as just being out there a, l a little bit more, as I mentioned before, in the meetup groups and meeting other people and not just, you know, basing your business on referrals. Mm -hmm. so. I see. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if you had a room full of entrepreneurs in front of you, you know, um, what piece of advice would you give to them? Don't read every single article you get on social media. Like, <laughs> stop reading everything and trying to implement all of the things and focus on one platform. 
place to stop. Like if you're going to read anything, yeah, just read about one platform and that's it. Just focus on one platform, the one that is going to work for you, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, for sure. Yes, be strategic about it. Like, be strategic about it, not just randomly pick a flat platform. Pick the one that you know for sure is going to work for you, right? Yes, for sure. Yeah. And even if you don't, you know, like, again, and play around with it, right? Because you don't, you can't predict what's going to work and, and what isn't. And you have to consistently watch, you know, an, another advice that I would give is pay attention to your insights, you know, and pay attention to what your audience is is reacting to and right. you know what they're engaging with mm -hmm. think, you know it's not just let's just post 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 and hope that people like and comment you know it has to go a little bit further than that you have to have um more of a strategic plan in place right and that is actually very instrumental right like a lot of people tend to just post and then just go away but um, social listening, right? And engagement. Um, so do you have any hacks or any tips or tricks for the audience on how to just become more engaging and um, do a better job at social listening? Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to sound really basic, but be social. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Be social on social, duh. <laughs> yes, you know, yesterday I posted a quick little video on my story and just said, you know, I, I get a lot of people in my DM saying, oh, it's not growing, oh, nobody's liking my images, what's happening, the algorithm, blah, blah, blah. Complain, complain, complain. But <laughs> are you being social, you right. know, on social media? Like, that's what it's for it's not set it and forget it and you know if you I also say if you look at some of these larger brands right like I don't know Wendy's or Tropicana or you know Delta Airlines let's say they're interacting they're not just posting something and even if it's a complaint they're interacting they're they're answering to those complaints they're going in and offering different things to their audiences not just through a post, but, you know, through whether it's like a messenger bot, a Twitter bot, anything. Um, but there, there has to be that interaction back and forth with you and your audience. And especially, you know, if you're on a smaller scale business, then you have to be interacting in there. They're, they're following you and they're, they're liking your posts for a reason. Right. They want that human interaction. They yes. want you. They want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that, that's a really good tip. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Um, so obviously, as a social media strategist, I mean, you're out there, you're, you know, constantly in the media, but how about fears? Does Rita have any fears? Did you have any fears during your uh, entrepreneurial journey? Of course. I'd be lying if I said that I didn't, you know, um, when I, so I attended the first um, Facebook group summit, um, you touched a little bit on um, me knowing about Facebook groups. And one of the things that they talked about and I really appreciated and is my fear every single day is the whole imposter syndrome, right? It's being in this, in this industry, you know, learning, you don't necessarily go to school every day so or you're not necessarily working with a big team and so you question yourself i think daily and and you're just wondering you know am i am i good enough or am i qualified enough i don't i wouldn't even say good enough i think qualified is more of the word to be giving this expert advice mm -hmm. um and so you know to to piggyback on that i would say you know what the deliverables are that you can get for your clients or your customers that should be your your proof you know that's how you can say to yourself and quiet those thoughts in your head and say you know what i am qualified i can do this yeah. and and that is such a beautiful and powerful message and in just to prove that so I was one of those people sitting in that room that day at the social media summit I didn't even know this woman. I didn't. I was sitting at the end of the room, and she was just talking, doing her thing, and um, she knew her stuff, right? And she touched me, 
I, I was just listening, just paying attention to everything she had to say. I had no clue about anything re with regards to Facebook groups. And I took away everything she had to say. So that is a proof to you that that very day she touched at least one person. Okay. And that was me. Okay. She taught me everything I didn't know. So if you, as an individual, and I'm getting goosebumps, okay, this message needs to go out there to everybody. If you as an individual have any knowledge of anything of any kind, and you can go and share that message with everybody, with the world, and tell them what you know, and you can touch at least one person, like Rita did that day, and she shared her knowledge with me, look, I am a better person today thanks to her. I know more today than I knew that day thanks to her. So don't be shy. Don't be afraid because you can help somebody every day. You can touch a new person every day. For sure. So thank that you. is our job. Yeah. No, thank you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 like, thank you. This is our job on this planet, okay? This is what we are meant to be doing, okay? And now we're sharing this with the rest of the world so more and more people can be doing this, right? Yes, can share their messages, right, on social. Exactly. <laughs> on social. On it, social. It, that is exactly what we're supposed to be doing, right? All right, so um, we actually got here to the end of the show and I want to make sure that everybody knows where to find you. So why don't you share with us exactly where people can find you? So you can find me on LinkedIn and at Rita V. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Rita V and my website is Rita V.com. That's Rita V E E like Gary V. <laughs> dot com <It's> better <laughs> just better more personable yeah now wait but we're not going anywhere without asking the magic question mm -hmm. why do you do what you do every day because i was dragged through the mud when i had a brick and mortar and i i'm very passionate about um you know being being realistic with with women and, and people who have small businesses. So that's what makes me want to keep going. That's what wakes you up every morning, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's sharing knowledge to be to be honest. I, I love to to learn and then to share what I'm learning. So I believe that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, love. My Latina, yeah. powerful Latina love. Yes, right. thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This, you, you made this so easy. Like, it was, <laughs> it was really great. And I'm, I, believe me, I've never been on a podcast. So. Oh, there you go. This was the first time. Yay. Yes, Yay. I'm happy to be with you. Thank you so much. A hug to you. Yes. You All right. Enjoy That's your so weekend. Easy. Thank okay. you. You too. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.